everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy and I'm a full-time reseller. On today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing of Quick Lots. I believe the box is called like fashion, <laughs> fashion something. It is essentially returns or shelf pulls damaged items from Nordstrom. The box was $2.25 and then $20 for shipping. There should be 30 items in here, leaving me with an average cost of goods around $8. In the past, they've put more than 30 items in here, so we'll see. Within the last probably year or so, I feel like these boxes have not been as good as they once were. I think that that is due to the fact that Quick Lots has their own whatnot account. So they are most likely, you know, taking the really good items and running those in live shows. But I thought I would take my chances on this one. We'll see how it goes. I'm hoping not like a whole bunch of summer stuff, but you never know what you're going to get. So starting with the first, it's, I believe this is Treasure and Bond. It's T and B. I don't see a tag on here. So <clears throat> I don't see a tag on this one, but I assume that this is men's, just like a Henley long sleeve black shirt, which isn't the worst. If it is Treasure and Bond, this brand is not, you know, super expensive to begin with. I will put some sold comps on the bottom or somewhere on the screen for some of the items. Next up is Halogen. I get a lot of this brand in these boxes. Um, not much of it sells very well. This is a black dress with a tiered skirt, which isn't the worst. I can use a lot of keywords for this one, like kind of witchy would probably fit this one. <clears throat> This does have a last chance tag on it for $13.97. I will take this off, but you really want to make sure if you get these boxes and they have these tags to look these over because there potentially is something wrong with it and that's why it's the last chance. DKNY, um, I've never done great with this brand either. This is a size small in, I don't even know what you want to call it. It's like almost like a royal blue kind of sheer here and then it does have this tank underneath that lines it. More of a career wear piece and this color is definitely more spring summer than fall or winter. Looks like it did have the tag but that is no longer on there. Open Edit is fairly cheaper of a brand. This one was originally, um, it doesn't tell me, but it is uh, I would say like maxi length floral skirt with this high slit. Once again, these are more spring summer colors, I think, than fall. Maybe you could get away with fall with this. Here are a pair of Nordstrom branded shorts, extra small men's like swim trunks. Um, I don't see a tag on these either, which is unfortunate. And extra small is going to be a tough sell. There's another Nordstrom branded top. This is a medium. I don't see a price on there, but the tag still is on here. This is men's, which is great. This nice color for uh, summer, summer, a nice color for fall. But now I'm wondering if this is like a pajama top. I don't know. It like almost feels more like pajamas than a traditional flannel. I'll have to look into this and see. Next is We The Free, a size medium, just like a little burnout tee, no tags. Does still have the little bar thing here, but probably won't get much for that. So, so far what I've seen in here, nothing I would have paid $8 for, so I'm getting a little nervous. Here's a Zella top, size medium, more of a sweater in this charcoal gray. Zella I do okay with. Normally their men's items do better for me. And I'm not getting many that still have the tags on them, which is unfortunate. Here's another one of those T and B tops in green. Adriana Papel. I do not like this brand. I never get much for it if it does sell. This is just a casual blouse. Once again, no tags on these. So I don't know if that's something new. If it is, I definitely won't be getting these boxes going forward. 
because in the past I'd say like 90% of what I would get still had the tags on it. I never like seeing white in these because more than likely there's going to be like makeup stains, self tanner stains, Love X Design or Love and Design. I'm not familiar with this brand. Um, it appears to be, I can see that there is some sort of stain here. Kind of like a gauzier maxi dress. I don't know what this brand is or how much this goes for. Let me see. Um, it says originally $88, but they were selling it for $39.97. So that does not give me much hope for this. So I will have to try and spot clean the back here and see what else <laughs> with this one. I feel like I had this in my last box and I didn't know if it was AFRM or FROM. Size small, I'm guessing a skirt. I don't think that's a tube top with ruching, but this one might be okay. Can use some kind of funky keywords with this. Like it is pretty Y2K, rave, club kid, that kind of stuff for that. Another brand I've never heard of. It does have, it is only polyester and acrylic, Modena, Modena. Um, it looks like it was originally, I can't see, but they had it for sale for only $29.97. But at least this is appropriate for the upcoming season. It's very preppy with these stripes here on the side. And it's like a shawl. I think it's like a shawl type deal an overcoat. Next is Intimately Free. Looks like one of the straps is... I don't know what's going on here. Because it's like this strap has a long... Let me see if I can show it better. Here's the strap and I believe they're even but this one at the bottom it's like really long and this one doesn't. I don't know what's going on there. Um, it is a size medium large. Probably, if anything, I'm going to cut this and just give this to Play-Dohs because I'm not going to deal with that. Here's that T&B again, but this is a Christmas shirt, Christmas vacation. Um, let's see. Looks like they only, yeah, so Treasure and Bond, that's what that t and they must have rebranded what it looks like on the actual clothing. Um, extra large, they had it for $29. Noisy May, I had a skirt from them in a couple boxes ago. No interest at all. This is just a striped pull-on skirt. Um, they had it on sale for $5.39 and it's an extra small. So yeah, definitely not digging this box so far. I just feel weird. Of course, Topshop, another brand that's very affordable and it does not resell for much. Uh, size 6 in this really like fake cheap leather pants. Um, I don't know, some keywords might be able to save this, but this might be a Play-Dohs situation. All in favor, never heard of this brand. Just kind of like a silky button front top. Once again, no tags. It does look to be cropped though, so at least that's good. More white. Good American, size extra small. This brand I've been having a hard time with. This is a bodysuit. Thong back, it does still have the little liner, which is good because I will take this off, but extra small is going to be probably kind of hard. And there is all this discoloration on there. More Zella, extra large, which is nice. You don't see that too often. This is white, so I'm going to have to really look this one over. Um, it is cropped though, which is nice. Quarter zip with this kind of tall collar. So this one might be okay. So far I think this is probably my favorite piece in here and that's, <laughs> that's not saying much because it's Zella. 
Okay, Jump Apparel, size 11, 12. So this is a Junior's brand. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um, this appears to be kind of like a homecoming prom dress, maybe. Let's see. I think it's like one shoulder all off to the side like that, maybe. Yeah, okay, I think it's like this. So it's a one shoulder with a cutout. It is floor length. It does have a little bit of like a flare trumpet type skirt at the bottom. And it does have this high slit. So this might do okay. I'm really hoping for something good here because right now I don't know <laughs> that I'm going to make much back. Nick and Zoe, I can already see some damage on this. Extra large. It's all ripped up. You can see that so that's probably just gonna have to be damaged more treasure and bond not excited to see that extra small so another small size just a black button front shirt more top shop size 12 it's just crazy to me that none of this stuff has tags so yeah I don't know I'm definitely not impressed Abound, another really cheap brand from Nordstrom. This one does still have the tags on it, but they were selling it for $11.53. Size extra small, some more small stuff. So this is cashmere and wool. The tag is kind of coming off. I think it's La, I don't even know, Fiorkentina? I'll have to look that up. I can't tell what that says, but it's a scarf. Um, which, yeah, okay. I'll look this up. I mean, this might be okay since it is cashmere and wool. Ellen Tracy, size small. Just a pink, another button-up shirt. More halogen, size 3X. This one does still have the tags on it. It is only acrylic and polyester. It's kind of a weird style with that sequin on there, but Let's see. Melrose and Market. I don't think I've heard of this brand. Another extra small. <laughs> Some sequin pants that I can see are pulling right there. And these will be good for like New Year's, but I'm telling you what, they're making thread up boxes look good. More all in favor. I don't know that brand. Small, medium. This is really cute though. It's like crocheted boxy top. More Topshop, size four, just black, like career pants. I mean, this box is bad. <sighs> Joe's jeans, size 23. These were on sale for $34.99. They are the High Rise Honey boot cut. Those are freaking tiny. <laughs> okay. The last thing, this is like a set from Nordstrom Rack. Does still have the tags on it. Here's the top. These are like a pajama set. And then here are the bottoms. I'm going to count everything, make sure I have at least 30. And I hope that I do have 30 because $8 a piece is pretty high for what was in this box. Okay, so I counted 33 and I did put the pajama set together. So I guess I got three extra pieces, which now brings my average cost of goods if I kept everything down to like seven something. But still, this was by far the worst box I've ever had from this company. And like not even just, oh, bad brands. It was a mixture of bad brands, small sizing, and a lot of it didn't have the tags on it. In the past, 
like I'm talking probably a year or so ago, I would get brands like Rails, Free People, MacDougall dresses, uh, Liza J dresses, which I said like in the beginning of the video, they're probably pulling all of that for whatnot. So will I be using this company in the future? Probably not. If there's an option for me to put a review on the website, I will because I don't want other people spending $245 for this because yeah, I don't know. It's This definitely was not worth it. This was probably like a three out of 10. But that's what you get for mystery boxes. I think that definitely puts my mind more in perspective. I just talked about this a couple videos ago where I was saying that I'm definitely slowing down on mystery boxes because it seems like it doesn't matter which company it is that the quality of the items just keeps going down and the prices keep going up. Which that's unfortunate because I don't always have the best thrifting in my area. So I liked to use mystery boxes as a way to kind of supplement that and just have everything sent to my door. But I definitely don't want to have $245 that's tied up in these brands and styles and sizes if they're not going to move. Because there's going to be a lot of work involved with this. Everything is wrinkled so it's going to have to be steamed. There's pieces that need to be spot treated, washed, and some of the brands and styles just aren't even worth me listing. So they'll end up going to Play-Doh's Closet or Thread Up, which I can guarantee that I'm not going to make $7 back on each piece. So if you're somebody that does get Quick Lots boxes recently, let me know if yours has been better than this or if this is the new norm. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to give it a like. It really helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!